Hi guys, it's Monica Blender, makeup artist. So I will do a Megan Fox makeup tutorial today. I did Megan a few weeks ago for the Kids' Choice Awards and uh, so many of you have asked me on my Instagram to recreate this makeup look. Now the makeup was super natural. I did not do a lot of heavy eye makeup. It was just a very natural, diffuse kind of eye makeup with not too many harsh lines. The lipstick was very crucial and very important. I chose a very kind of corally lipstick shade. And I have a gorgeous model today. Her name coincidentally is also Megan. She's from LA Models. And I will show you in this tutorial step by step how I created this makeup look. Uh, don't forget to give my video some thumbs up and follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. Leave me some nice comments and thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next time. Hi, Megan. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for being here today Thank to do this you. video with me. So we are going to recreate the Megan Fox look I did a few weeks ago for the Kids Choice Awards. Um, this, this makeup look got a lot of attention. Lots of people have asked me to recreate it. So we're going to do this today on you. Um, how funny is it that your name is Megan as well? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the foundation I'm using on you today is the La Prairie foundation. It's the concealer foundation and the color is called Honey Beige. It's a great foundation. It's a bit heavy, but I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it on my hands first and then I'm applying it first with a Sigma brush. This is the flat Kabuki brush in F80. And I'm putting it on first with this brush. And then afterwards, I'm taking my beauty blender to just blend everything in. And then I take my beauty blender and I'm shearing it out even more that way so it's not as heavy. Okay, so we just applied your foundation. And my next product here is by Anastasia. It's the Brow Wiz. Everyone knows me using this product all the time. This one is Brunette. This is also the same product I used on Megan. Now, your eyebrows are unbelievable. They are Thank so you. full <laughs> and, and great that I don't really think we need to do that much. Now, Megan Fox is really, really well known for her eyebrows. She always has them really defined and they're very filled in. And uh, on you right now, I'm just going to fill in the front part a little bit and I'm also going to just try to get a little bit more of that arch in and I'm also going to just drag it out a little bit and I'm also going to just brush them really nicely upwards and outwards all right, so we just finished the eyebrows. The first step to this eye makeup is a product by Chanel. This color is num number 93 and it's a cream eyeshadow. It's this really beautiful, beautiful uh, bright pink color. And I'm applying it with a Real Techniques brush. It's a synthetic brush. So I'm applying this cream eyeshadow on the inner upper eyelid, dragging it outwards, and I'm kind of putting it all over her eyelid. Again, I'm kind of starting in the inner corner where I'm placing most of the product, and then I'm pushing the product outwards, whatever is left on my brush. And this color, if you open up your eye, it just you can see in the camera, it just gives this like really beautiful kind of highlight, a little bit of shimmer. It's gorgeous. It's also really pretty by itself if you just want to do that with a little bit of mascara. And then I'm putting this product on a smaller brush. This is a Laura Mercier smudge brush. Open up. And I'm kind of creating a V, open up, in the inner tear duct. So it's like a reversed V right in here. 
And what this does, it just really opens up the eye. And when you're being photographed on the red carpet, it just gives a really nice little pop to your eye. All right, the next step to this eye makeup is a eyeshadow by NARS, and the color is called Kalahari. And there are two beautiful bronzy shades. I'm going to use first the color to the left on a Tom Ford brush. And I'm putting this color in the socket. So I'm starting outwards and I'm going inwards back and forth and I'm also gonna apply it on the outer corner dragging it outwards so that way you're creating a little bit more of an elongated eye and then I'm also taking the same color on a smudge brush by Laura Mercier, open up, and I'm applying it on the bottom lash line. After the eyeshadow, I'm applying this Laura Mercier. It's almost like a cream eyeshadow, but it comes in a stick form and it's like twistable like that. And the color is called Amphethyst. I love these eyeshadow sticks. They're amazing. They're so, so easy to apply. Now I'm putting it on my, on my hand first and I'm using a contour shadow brush by Chanel. And I'm just dipping it right in here. And I'm applying it close to your lash line. Really close to your lash line. It's almost like I'm using a pencil but this is just a cream shadow and it just intensifies your lash line even more. And I'm also going to apply this color on the bottom lash line. What's really important about this look is that I kind of made it thicker and smudgier on the lower lash line so I wasn't really shy about making it straight and perfect so it was really kind of smudgy and dragged down a little bit so you're creating a little bit of a bronzy shadow right here and then I've dragged it upwards and outwards so we elongate the eye right out here and then you can take your brush from earlier your Tom Ford brush and just kind of blend it all together it's really important that you're dragging it outwards. So I've already um, curled Megan's lashes a minute ago and I chose this mascara which I've also used on Megan. This one is Lancome de Finicils. It's in black and uh, you guys all know that I love this mascara. I've used it many times in my tutorials and I'm just applying it in small little strokes. Okay, cool. So we're almost done with the eyes. There is one more thing. I added a few of these individual lashes. You guys have seen me also use these lately. I love them. They're called Kiss. The reason why I like them because they're so quick. You can work with them really quickly. And basically you have three lashes on one band. And uh, I like that little glue pocket right in there. It's awesome. So what I'm doing is I'm putting on about two of these lashes on each side and I'm starting close down a little bit I'm just putting them on the outer corners open up and then you take your finger and kind of push them in so I've put in three of the kiss lashes on each side and now I'm going in with a few of the uh, Ardell short black lashes in flare just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural because what happens 
sometimes is that there is a little bit of a gap in between and then I just fill it with another individual lash to make it look more natural. Okay, so the eye makeup is done. Next step would be using some concealer. I use this NARS concealer. Uh, the color is medium one in custard. This one is the Radiance Concealer by NARS. I love this concealer so much. It comes with this beautiful little spongy applicator and I just dot it on really lightly right underneath here. And then you can use your hands or you can use a brush. I'm using a Sigma brush right here. It's a concealer brush in F75. And I'm just dabbing this product in. Then I use my hands a little bit as well. I just want it to be very lightly concealed. And also if you have some imperfection underneath or if you have some fall down from the product, this is a really great way of cleaning everything up right now. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of powder on you right now because I feel like it's a little bit of, of, of too much shimmer right now going on on your face. For that I'm using my Too Faced Prime and Poreless Powder. I'm just putting that on a Bobbi Brown sheer powder brush and I'm just powdering your T-zone area and a little bit underneath your eyes. And a little bit right on your forehead. All right, so to contour your face, Megan, I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury product. This one is called the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And I'm using this color right in here on a big fluffy brush. This one is by Chanel, it's called the Powder Brush. And I'm contouring just right out here. From the hairline, I'm going inwards in round, short, little strokes just to get a little bit of a definition in your face and I'm also going to bring it a little bit in the temple of your face I'm also going to put it a little bit right in here bringing it down right here A little bit on the temple of your face, a little bit on the forehead. You can also mix the two colors a little bit, which I did at the end, just to bring that shimmer even down more on your cheekbone. Okay, so then I'm going to take the lighter color on my Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush and I'm just bringing that color on the cheekbone right in here to make it a little bit more shimmery and glowy. As you all know, Megan is so well known for her beautiful shimmery bronzy glow. And I'm also bringing that color on the bridge of your nose. And then I'm taking it on a smaller brush, like this one is a MAC 224 brush. I'm also going to bring that color on the brow bow. And to add a little bit of color to this makeup, I also chose a Charlotte Tilbury blush. This one is called Cheek to Chic in Ecstasy. It's a gorgeous peachy pinky color. And we are using, again, my Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. You can just clean it off a little bit. And then just use it on the apples of the cheeks. All right, Megan, we're almost done. Yeah. I can't wait to see the results. Great. So 
it was really important for me, uh, for Megan Fox, to find the right um, shade of lipstick on that day for Kids' Choice Awards. And I chose this color by Chanel. This is uh, Rouge Allure in number 90. And to me, this is just like the perfect, coolly, uh, shimmery um, shade. And this is what the color looks like. And I just really, really love this, this color so much. It just, to me, screams summer. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, coolly lipstick. I think this color goes with so many different skin types. And I did it directly out of the bullet. Go like that. All right, so I used a lip brush just to blend out and to make the edges more seamless. And this is the finished Megan Fox look. I hope everybody likes it.